honestly, I mean, they're one of the best fans in DMV. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy C Marty Fit, and we back here with another episode of the Less Bunches More Crunches podcast. <laughs> It's uh, Wednesday afternoon. Um, I got a nice little chill day today, so we about to get this talk in, man. So today's episode is uh, about gym etiquette, uh, the do's and don'ts in the gym. And you'd be surprised. I see some wild stuff in the gym. And, uh, you know, if this is your first time listening, you know, you might have seen me talking about, you know, different topics. I do everything fitness related. So before we start, you know, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and please share it with a friend. So, with all that being said, man, let's get into it. Down the Marco, Marco, Marco. All right, first thing on the list, man, put your weights back. If you take weights off of the dumbbell rack, please put them back when you finish with your sets, all right? I can't tell you how many times... Like, when I'm on a heavy lift day, I'm looking for 70, 80, 90, 100s and up. And the weights are scattered around the gym. Like, those weights are already a pain to lift and do your exercise. Now I got to go around the gym. I got to go looking for it. I got to carry it over, do a farmer's walk over to the bench area. Like, come on, man. Like, it's a pain. And my thing is, like, you, you want to be all macho and strong when it's time to lift, but you're not macho and strong when it's time to put it back. Come on, fellas. It be the fellas doing that. Girl, g- girls, y'all do it too with the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Y'all do it too, girls. But fellas, come on, bro. Y'all be the main ones. Put the weights back, man. Act like you got some home training. All right? Another thing too, man. My gym where I train has a sauna in the men's bathroom. Okay? A lot of gyms have them. There should be no weights in the bathroom, bro. Why you have weights in it? What are you doing in there, dog? And I never forget, bro. I heard, I saw this one girl. She was, uh, she was like rushing to the sauna, in the women's bathroom. She's like, yeah, my, my trainer got me doing abs in there. Like, well, you should not be working out in the sauna, bro. Sit in the sauna, get the benefits, relax. The people in the sauna not trying to be around all that. You should not have weights in there, bro. Just relax, man. Do your workout before you go in the sauna. That's dirty, too. Like, it's hot. It's all steamy and musty in there. Like, come on, man. We're going to address, we, we address the must issue later in the podcast. But it shouldn't be wasting there. I can't tell you how many times I go in the bathroom. Look, I'm looking for 20s and 30s for my clients, and I can't find any. And then when I take a bathroom break, they in the bathroom, bro. Like, come on, man. Nope. Okay. Even yesterday, I went in the bathroom and there was a clamp for the barbell. Like, what are y'all doing? It's so weird, man. Like, don't take weights in the bathroom. Leave them in the gym. Nope. All right. Next thing, man. This is a big one, man. Because, like, when I'm working out, not nine times out of ten, like, I have, like, a a certain window to work out. Like most people, you know, I might have an hour, I might have two. Some days I'm free, I could be in there as long as I want to. You know, a lot of times I, I, my time is limited, so I'm focused when I'm working out. If you see somebody, you know, they look focused, they on the treadmill, they got their headphones in, keep conversation short. Don't come up to me just talking about nothing and you trying to just have a full-blown combo and I'm on the Stairmaster about to pass out or I'm on the incline treadmill or I'm doing sprints about to pass out. Like, bruh, I'll talk to you when I'm done or I'll talk to you another time. Like, come on, man. And then nine times out of ten, y'all ain't talking about anything significant. What? You want to compliment the podcast? Cool. You want to have a conversation about it? Quick. Hey, man, I like what you're doing. You keep doing your thing. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, man, that one episode when you was a... Nope. Come on, man. Crazy, dog. Yeah, man, they leave people alone, especially the, the ladies, bro. When you see ladies serious in the gym, it's, it's, the, it's, it's less common for the ladies to be as serious. So when you see one in the gym, respect it and let her do her workout. Come on, fellas. Next thing, man. Ladies. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> listen, 
And I know y'all gonna have a problem with this, but I, I, I really don't care. I, I never care. I don't care. It's the truth. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm telling the truth. Ladies, if you look good, right? Body banging, even if you don't look good, <laughs> somebody would think you look good, all right? You in the gym, nine times out of ten, somebody gonna be attracted to you. Dude's gonna look at you. Come on now. Ladies, whether it's in the gym, whether you at the mall, whether you at the grocery store, whether you at the airport, dudes gonna look at you. I'm sorry. Now, I'm not saying dudes have to be inappropriate towards you. That's a whole different conversation. Dudes gonna look at you. It means you look good. Sorry. It's just it just happens. Like it, it's it's real. Gym. The gym happens to be um, an, an intimate place where you you close to people, people showing skin. It's a lot of testosterone going around when you lifting weights. Dudes gonna look at you. Sorry, it's just a fact. It's a fact. It's a, I mean, the work paying off. You in there, you doing all your squats, your lunges, your your butt kicks, hip thrusts, abs, your cardio, stairmaster. It's paying off. Dudes gonna look at you, lady. Sorry. Y'all be I ain't trying to hear that bullshit. You, you're not about to make me feel bad because I because I look at you. now if I'm staring and being a creep. Yeah, that's that's different. But like, now I'm I'm, I'm going to look and every other dude we going to look. Y'all look at us, girls look at us. If you see a dude with some nice arms, or he uh you know you like his back muscles or something, or you, or you just like how he look in general. You might like his legs or something. Girls be liking weird shit on dudes. You going to look too. All right. So I don't want to hear it, ladies. Next thing. Back to the fellas. Don't be a creep, fellas. Do not be a creep. Some of y'all are weird, bruh. Like, don't... If there's a girl you're attracted to... I'm, I'm, I, hold on. Let's rewind it. Let's, be, let's rewind it. <laughs> now, I do truly believe that, like, the, the gym... You're going to find some great girls in the gym. A lot of girls are on top of their shit that go to the gym. They're responsible. Um, they're accountable. You're going to find some great women in the gym. So I understand. But fellas, like, that don't necessarily mean you're going to meet your girl or your wife at the gym. Sorry. It's just a fact. Um, it's not the place to approach women. I'm sorry. And if if, if, if a girl at the gym is interested in you um, and you're a regular, she's going to let you know, bro. Like, it's, 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 the signs are there. But there's no need to go to the parking lot and leave a note on her car or follow her in the parking lot and try to approach her in the parking lot like fellas that's just top tier weird as fuck bro like it's just weird dog like <laughs> there's no near need for that don't go up to them making jokes about their butt don't go up to them like just making weird creepy freaky ass jokes like dog don't do that like and the same dudes do it to multiple women in the gym so you, they gonna talk about you so you look crazy so let it go, man. Look, if she's into you, she gonna it's it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen one way or another. She gonna let you know, bro. Whether it's a look, whether she gonna say something to you, don't worry about it, bro. Like just 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 let it go, okay, fellas. Stop being weirdos. All right, I'm cooking y'all today. This one right here kills me, especially on my busy days, man. And you know I'm in the process of um, well I didn't even tell y'all yeah I just I just recently lost ten pounds not intentionally but I just really been on top of my stuff um, especially after my last vacay in the past two three weeks um, you know I've been eating super clean drinking you know one and a half two gallons of water a day doing my cardio and you know I'm killing it so I just recently lost ten pounds when I'm in the gym I'm serious bro I'm not playing games. Okay, I can't stand when somebody is texting, sitting on a machine that I want to use. Okay, I can't stand that, bro. If you're gonna use the machine, use it. It's cool to take a break. If you want to take a break, get up. You know, pace around the machine, take a walk. If you're super setting, you know, do the machine. Whatever you got next, do it. And it's okay to let somebody work in. If you hogging a machine, it's and somebody asked to work in, it's, it's totally normal. Don't look at me crazy because I'm asking to work in with you, bruh. Like, the gym is a, it's a, it's a community. 
We're not there for ego. We're not there to have beef with somebody. We're not there to hate on somebody. We're not there to look at people crazy. We're not there to start trouble. The gym is a positive community. I know people don't think so because of my podcast and jokes and stuff, but we just telling the truth. The gym is a positive community. So let somebody work in or tell them, oh, no, I'm going to be done in five minutes. I only got two more sets. You know, if you don't want if you don't want somebody to work in, that's perfectly fine too. You don't have to, but um, yeah, man, come on, bro. Like you gotta share. You gotta share. You gotta share. All right. Down the Marco, Marco. All right, man. And then look, trainers. Look, another thing, trainers. If you're doing a group session, and you got, you know, let's say you got four or five people, six people, you got a, a bigger session. You know, and let's say let's let's take leg press, for instance, right? If there's three leg presses, don't use all three leg press, because there's other people in the gym, there's other trainers in the gym that want to use it. All right, it's no need to have all your clients on the all the machines. No. Nope. Have them do something else, okay? Or you you, you got to figure that out. I mean, that happened the other day, man. I was I'm like, come on, bro. Like, you know, I'm, I might have a plan. For my clients to do something, leg press is in the plan. We go down the leg press, you want all the machines. Nope. Come on, y'all. All right. Next thing, man. Okay, if you go to a gym where they're where trainers, you know, train clients, where they do group sessions, where they have multiple people, and you see them in the area or they're usually in that area, listen, man. You got to ask if they're using a machine before you take it, bro. Right? You can't just walk up and just take the machine. You see me standing right there. You see you see clients going back and forth. The moment somebody there's a transition and you just want to take the machine. No. Nope. Come on, man. For, and a lot of people think I'm just in there hanging out. I understand like, you know, I'm I'm 30, but I guess I, you know, People think I'm I'm younger than what I am. You know, you see a, a, a young dude, I'm chill, laid back, you know, I got on sweats and a t-shirt every day. I might got the hat on, I'm looking real laid back. So people don't understand that this is a real job. People look at it like I'm just in there hanging out, telling people like, nah, this is a business, bro. This is, this is business. Don't come in here and, and, and fuck up my business, bro. I take this serious. It's how I pay my bills. So nah, you can't come in here and just take the machine, dog. It's crazy, man. Like, people have no respect. So, if you see a trainer running their business, respect. Hey, y'all using this? Okay, come back. Can I work in with you? Just like I said a couple minutes ago. All right? Come on, man. All right. Next thing, man. Ladies. Back back to the ladies, bro. Back to, back to the ladies. Ladies. <laughs> this, this is crazy, man, because... Men get labeled as the creeps in the gym. But ladies, don't say nothing to men that you don't want a man to say to you. And I said this on a podcast a few months ago. Like, by far, the ladies say way worse stuff than the men in the gym. Oh, my God. It's crazy. The ladies just sneaky with it. Like, I mean, like, even yesterday, like, let's, 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 let's do this. I'm going to give you all a scenario. Let's reverse the roles. Yesterday, I'm like, I'm training my client. I was just standing up, had my arms crossed like this, you know, chill, you know. Older lady, she got to be in her 50s, man. She come up to me like, yeah, don't stand like that. Um, that make your butt look small. <coughs> Excuse me? <coughs> Excuse me? Bruh. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a grown man, bro. Don't talk to me like that, bro. First of all, like, duh. <laughs> I mean, like, imagine. Now, let's reverse the roles. Imagine me. I'm in there. Or, or no, let's take a 50-year-old man. And he go up to a, a girl in her late 20s or early 30s. And hey, don't stand like that. It make your butt look small. She, she will report him and get his membership revoked. All right? So, <laughs> it's way different what men do it. I understand. But look. Don't say nothing to the men that you wouldn't want nobody to say to you. I had another incident a couple months ago where this older lady said something to me crazy. I'm not going to repeat it on the podcast, but like uh, like real real talk, if a dude said that to a woman, they might have called the police on her, bro. 
and got him kicked out the gym. I'm not lying, son. They would have went on TikTok. They would have went on Reddit, told the story, probably tagged him, <laughs> exposed him, got him fired from his job. So look, ladies, if it's something that you don't want the fella saying to you, don't say it to the fellas, ladies, all right? Crazy, man. Whew. Next one. I can't stand this, man. I'm gonna... That get the buzzer before I even say it, bro. <laughs> Listen. It's very normal to be in the gym, have your headphones, right? I can't work out without my headphones at this point, man. I'm either I'm always listening to a podcast, audiobook, a playlist. Like it's just it's normal now. Like it just just get me in the zone. It makes my workout a thousand times better. Cool. Have your headphones. But if you have headphones on, don't be singing a song out loud like we all could hear it. I can't hear that. Nobody else can hear it. There's no need for you to be on the stairmaster hollering, singing your song out. I heard a, I heard a dude yesterday singing a song, and I knew the lyrics to this. I knew what song he was singing. I shouldn't know what you listening to on your headphones. Keep that shit to yourself. I don't nobody want nobody want to hear that. It's other it's trainers in there. We trying to run our business. It's people on the phone on the phone or people people not trying to hear that, bro. It's annoying. Stop it. And it's two people at my gym. It's a man and it's a woman. They do that shit every day. Annoying. But if I say something to them, I'm the bad guy. I'm telling you, I'm I, they going they going to say I'm the bad guy. All right. Keep that shit to yourself, man. Nobody want to hear that. Especially if you want to you want to stare master, right? Let, let's say it's prime time, gym time, either before work or after work. You want to stare master and there's people next to you and I got my headphones in, I shouldn't hear it. Shouldn't hear it. Y'all got to do better, people. Y'all got to do better. All right? This is a big one, man. We 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 gotta we gotta talk about this. We 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 um y'all get ready for this because this has been an issue ever since I started training. A lot of a lot of the mostly the women complain about it, um, you know. <laughs> but put some deodorant on before you come to the gym. Take a shower before you come to the gym. Make sure your clothes don't smell like wet mildew and they weren't sitting in the wash too long and then you just went on and dried them before you came to the gym. Nobody wants to smell that. Nobody wants to smell something disgusting in their workout. It's already hard enough breathing. You tired. You huffing and puffing. You <gasps> taking deep breaths. And I got to smell that? Now I'm scared to breathe. Now I really feel like I'm about to pass out in my workout. Clean yourselves, man. And I know y'all smell yourselves too because any like anytime and I don't, I'm a clean dude. Anytime I had a bad day, I smell it first before anybody. It's been times where I even kept an extra deodorant in the car or my bag just in case I forgot. Do what you need to do. Keep some 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 axe, some spray with you. I don't know what you got to do. But nobody trying to smell that. And that goes for the men and the women. That ain't just a one sex thing. That's both of y'all. I've been around men that stink and women that stink. Disgusting. Nobody wants to smell that. If you smell yourself, figure out what the problem is. I'm not a woman, but ladies, if y'all got an issue, figure it out. Okay, because it's crazy to be the same women who stink every time and the same men who stink every time. Fellas, get it together. All right, that's disgusting. I shouldn't be training. I, you shouldn't, like, if, if you run by or walk by and the whole section just stink, it just stay there. Very inconsiderate. And I know you smell it too. All right, now I don't have my own facility yet. But the day's going to come when I get my own facility. I'm not joking, bro. I'm going to find people who stink. And it's going to be in a contract when you sign up. You're signing a contract. You're getting fined when you sign up. And a couple of... Uh, 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 I mean, I'm sorry. You're getting fined if you stink. Like, if you get a complaint about being stinky. 
And too many complaints, you're getting your membership's getting revoked. I don't care, bro. I don't care. You can say it's mean, whatever. But I have to cater to the members, like <laughs> to the people that's paying me. Fuck that. I don't have time for that, bro. Clean yourselves, man. If you can't come, if you go, if you go to work and you can't come straight from work and and work out without stinking, go home, shower, go home, put on deodorant, do something, do what you need to do before you come to the gym. Very inconsiderate. You think I'm trying to smell that? Nope. <laughs> All right, man. Last one, man. Please, please, don't do this. Now, I shoot a lot of content for my social media. A lot of people shoot content for their social media. Some are motivating. Some people get paid for content. I'm cool with it. Shoot your content, bro. I never am mad at somebody shooting their content. Do what you got to do. It's 2023. Everything is on social media now. Everything's digital, right? So if you have a tripod, do not put your tripod in front of the dumbbell rack. Listen, man. People, like I just mentioned earlier in the beginning of the podcast, people are coming in. They're trying to get in and out. They're probably busy. They might have kids. They might have to get to work. They might have to get to their second job. They might have to beat traffic. People got shit to do. Don't sit there and put your tripod in the, in right in front of the dumbbell rack. Then when somebody is trying to put a dumbbell back or grab a new dumbbell and they got to slide it to the side or move it or say something to you or give you a dirty look, don't get mad. Put your tripod somewhere where... It's not going to affect anyone. Don't put it in a walkway, where like a main walkway where people got to walk to different machines. Put it somewhere where it's not going to bother nobody, okay? And I promise you, people going people gonna to be respectful. It's going to be a couple idiots. That's just that's life. But majority of people with sense are going to respect it. They're going to walk around. They're probably not going to walk through your... your um, your video if they recognize it it's gonna be a couple of idiots who do it some people don't do it on purpose I know I've definitely walked through people's video and I've apologized if you walk through someone's video and you realize that you did that apologize oh my bad oh my bad man sorry man all right don't just walk through it and not say nothing people see people see me record and just walk through that shit I can't stand that okay most people aren't that crazy all right but put your tripods in the right spot man I think that's a. That's like most of the things I've seen recently in the gym that have been issues. And um, I'm sure I can think of a couple more. Maybe I'll do another one of these episodes next month or something. But um, yeah, if there's something that I missed, just let me know. Uh, shoot me a message, you know, comment on the video below. Um, but yeah, let, let me know, man. If, if, if you like the episode, if you want more episodes like this, let me know. I try to switch it up. I try to do the reaction videos. I try to drop knowledge. I try to drop game. I try to keep everything fitness related. So last thing before I go, man. I just <laughs> I just posted about Lizzo two days ago. And um, <laughs> this girl was in my comments mad. And I'm, I listen, bro. From the comments she was making, there's no way she watched my full clip. Which is fine. I understand we live in a short attention span world. But look, man, I'm posting my content to drop knowledge. I'm trying to help people. And I'm trying to entertain respectfully. I do. I do get a little... Uh, my jokes go a little too far sometimes. I admit that. But look, man, that, that's not my intent to like just single people out and bash them. That's not what I'm here for. If you really pay attention to the, comment, uh, to the content, you'll understand that. So look, man, please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Tell me what you want to watch, what you want me to react to. Follow my social media below. Cop some gear. You know what I'm saying? I got the, I got the shirt, got the sweatpants, got the socks. Got the hat. Cop some gear, man. Support your boy, man. I got good quality. Um, you know, I ship it to you if you if you're not in the DMV area, of course. I even ship out the country. I just. I just ship, shipped some stuff to United uh, United Arab Emirate yesterday, whatever it's called, it's over there in Dubai. I just shipped some stuff there yesterday, so that's lit. But um, yeah, man, appreciate y'all watching another episode of the Let's Murder Small Crunches podcast. 
I'll catch y'all on the next one. We out. Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best fans in DMV.